Hey everyone, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we want to do a review and a comparison for you of a new guitar that uh, Martin Guitars released at the NAMM show. It's kind of a new model and an updated model as well. Uh, it's the guitar I have here in my lap. This is the Martin GPC-13E. And this is part of the road series that Martin has done, uh, which are built in their Mexico factory uh, and are made of all solid wood construction with various um, various specifications and options depending upon the model that you get. Now, for a long time on this channel, I have raved about the Rhodes series as being probably one of the very best values in acoustic guitars. Um, it's built here in North America. It is made of all solid woods with a pickup. Now, previously you got a case with it, but Martin has changed that this year to a very, very nice gig bag. In fact, let me grab it for you so that you can see this is the gig bag that comes with the guitar, and it's a nice, well-made gig bag. It's very thick. It's got a nice look to it. Martin embroidered on it. It's got this nice blue interior, neck support and whatnot, and nice, nice thick padding. Um, so it's a well-made bag um, for a great guitar. Now, I'll go over the specs with you, and then we want to do a review, but we want to also do a comparison for you because I think there's a particular guitar that a lot of people who might be looking at this are going to compare it to. So this is the GPC. Now what that means is, is a GP or Grand Performance Body or Performer Body from uh, Martin with a cutaway. Uh, this is a newer body shape from Martin and it's very similar to the Taylor Grand Auditorium guitar. Uh, similar in shape, similar in look. It's different by you know fractions of an inch in various uh, different dimensions. Uh, so deeper than a triple O, wider at the base than triple O, similar to a dreadnought, tighter waist though. Really kind of handles um, medium light uh, to kind of almost heavy strumming, finger picking. It does a lot of things very, very well. Um, it comes with a pickup. This is the new Fishman MXT pickup. So it's like a matrix pickup with sound hole controls and a tuner down here. So you hit a little button and what's nice about it is it mutes uh, the output and you can see the tuner looking down uh, through the sound hole. Um, so if you're left-handed and you turn it upside down, sorry, you're out of luck, don't do that. Uh, order a left-handed model. You, it's a 25 and a half inch scale. It's a one and three, uh, one and three quarter inch nut width. And it has a uh, rich light bridge and fingerboard. The fingerboard has uh, what they say is mother of pearl pattern in lace, along with a mother of pearl pattern rosette. So I guess what that means is it's not true mother of pearl, but it looks like it's very nice. Um, and you know, do, can you really tell the difference anyway? Um, and then your typical Martin headstock with script logo up at the top. Uh, the neck is a two piece solid wood neck with the modified low oval profile. And the bracing inside is scalloped uh, X bracing. So between the, uh, the solid wood construction and the bracing, you're gonna get a nice lively, robust sound that's pretty resonant. It's an all gloss body with a uh, nice cream uh, or crisp white binding. The back and sides is called uh, Mutene, at least that's how the internet told me to pronounce it. It's an African hardwood that's very similar to Ovancol. And so there's a lot of warmth to it, uh, but you don't have the mid-range scoop that you get from rosewood. So it's a nice, pretty looking wood. There's some subtle flaming on there. Uh, very nice kind of uh, light caramel coloring to it, and then it's paired with a spruce top. So lots of projection, some nice warmth to it. Really a great guitar. So what, were, what are we gonna compare it to? Well, I happen to think that if you're looking at this guitar, you are probably also looking at this guitar. So the main competitor on this would be from Taylor, and this is, or from Martin, would be the Taylor, and it's a Taylor 214 CE. Now the 214 CE is actually a little bit more than the Martin uh, by about $200. So that Martin currently goes for $12.99, this is $14.99 for the 214CE Deluxe model. Now the Deluxe gives you a full gloss body like we just saw in the GPC-13E. Uh, the construction is very similar. So you've got a solid spruce top with scalloped uh, bracing, 
Same scale length. It's ebony, fingerboard, and bridge rather than a rich light. Um, you have the 25 and a half inch scale, same uh, nut width, very similar neck pattern. It's a three piece instead of two piece neck and it's Taylor's NT neck, so it's bolted onto the body. You have Taylor's Expression uh, 2, so the ES2 system, uh, rather than a Fishman or aftermarket product. Uh, the biggest difference between these is that this comes with a case instead of a gig bag, so that is part of the additional price. If you priced out a Taylor case on its own, it's more than $200. So that's a big difference here. You get a hard shell quality case rather than the gig bag, but I think the gig bag's rather nice. The other huge difference is that this is laminate back and sides. Now there's a few different options from Taylor. This one happens to be rosewood with a sunburst top. You can get it with a natural top. You can get it with koa back and sides uh, instead of rosewood. Um, again, it's going to be layered in that case uh, instead of being solid. Um, and then there is a, a next model up, which is the 224, which gives you a koa top option instead. Um, but overall, the, the main difference between these, other than the case, is that this is not all solid and the Martin is all solid. Now, I think over the course of time, solid wood tends to open up more. Most of your sound comes from the top, but the back and sides influence the tone, kind of the EQ of the guitar, so to speak. So, which one's the better value? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna play them both, and without the benefit of time, we're gonna see straight out, brand new, how these guitars sound. So, check it out.
So there you have it. You have the new Martin GPC-13E, part of the Road series. Again, I think huge value. And you have the Taylor 214CE Deluxe, uh, one of the most popular Taylor uh, guitars that we sell on a regular basis that's available with a lot of different finish and wood options uh, and a case as well. So, you know, this one's a little bit less expensive and it comes with the benefit of solid wood. Is that enough to convince you to get the Martin? Sound-wise, if you close your eyes, which one sounds better to you? Maybe that's the better question. I'd like to hear from you. Comment below and tell us what you think. Do you think that this is the better buy, this one? Which one would you spend your money on? Um, and let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know the next time we put out a video. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching our videos. If you enjoy what we're putting out, help support this channel uh, by going uh, down below and purchasing one of the t-shirts we've made for you. Uh, rock your support for one of the oldest music stores in Texas and the country and your love of guitar. Just purchase below, help support our videos, and go to our website, alamomusic.com, for more goodies that you can get. Thanks.